State leaders launched the start of a um, prescription drug take back day this morning. The event provided a safe, convenient and responsible way of disposal of prescription medications. Our Captain Merck spent the day at the drop off location in Sun Prairie and shows us what this means for safety in our state. Removing potentially dangerous pharmaceutical substances from our state's medicine cabinets helps to prevent them from being ingested, stolen, misused and abused. And in our state, the way the numbers add up, it shows that it matters a lot. All communities in every corner of our state are touched by the misuse of prescription medications and it will take the help of our entire community to resolve it. More than 140 events and more than 270 law enforcement agencies participated in the previously successful drug take back day. We try to make this as convenient as possible so if anybody wants to drop their uh, prescriptions off here in Sun Prairie we literally have a drop drive through drop off. Uh, this past spring Wisconsin's drug take back was number one in the country. We collected more than 55,000 pounds of unused and unwanted medications. Wisconsin consistently ranks among the highest in the nation for the number of drugs collected at this event. That's despite us being lower than other states for population. I asked the attorney general why this is happening. Uh, is it not a reflection of, the, of any notion that we have more prescription medications sitting unused in Wisconsin? I think instead what it shows is that we have really strong collaboration and partnerships among uh, our Department of Justice, the DEA, and both state and local health departments across Wisconsin. It's the goal for these state leaders that the positive trends continue. Participating in Drug Take Back Day is a way we can all do something immediate, practical, and important. It's important to prevent harm. This is a way that Wisconsinites can help fight prescription painkiller abuse. The Drug Take Back Day itself is an event that happens twice a year. However, there are resources available to safely dispose prescription drugs at drop-off locations across the state. More information is available on our website right now at channel3000.com.